Hey everyone, it's uh, Jill with Cooking Homemade with Jill. And you can hear my mixer whirling away in the background because today we're going to be making a daffodil cake. Have you ever heard of a daffodil cake? It's just a, a, a fancy angel food cake. And the reason I'm doing this is because I had all these eggs. So um, right now, I'm working on the meringue part of the um, cake, which meringue can be tricky, so you, you kind of got to pay attention. So I'm adding, um, what's in here are a dozen egg yolks, some cream of tartar, and a little salt, and I've added just a, a bit of the sugar. I think I'm working with three quarters of a cup, um, and I'm just adding it a couple of tablespoons at a time. <clears throat> so it can incorporate and not be grainy. It really has to kind of emulsify. So this, <laughs> I have to show you, I have to show you where I got this recipe from. Um, because angel food cake is angel food cake, but I found this daffodil cake recipe and I thought, oh God, that's a little more interesting. So it comes out of my um, 50 year old <laughs> with a detachable um, cover. Betty Crocker cookbook. So if you have one of these, I don't know if the new ones have been revised and rewritten to take out some of the old recipes. And I don't know, because this, this sucker was a wedding present like 50 years ago. So anyway, that's what we're doing today. Um, otherwise, in here I've got um, some eggs, egg yolks. These are six of the 12 egg yolks and um, we're gonna just we're gonna just hodgepodge around it now what I should be doing right now is beating these egg yolks because I think they're they're what makes the daffodil cake a daffodil if I don't spill stuff so I'll tell you what I'm gonna do because this is noisy I'm gonna finish whipping my um, meringue my egg whites and I also have to whip the egg yolks for about five minutes so they're nice and thick um, and that's going to take a while so I will be back in a little bit and we'll kind of start assembling stuff hang on hello <laughs> I don't think you ever really left me did you I'm gonna have to edit all that out so um, I am here and the egg whites are uh, it's become meringue uh, at, as stiff peaks. I, I'd like you to see what stiff peaks. You'll see they're, they're not really falling, drooping over. They're standing up uh, straight and proud. So what happens next is we get rid of that. And I'm going to this in here. I have some uh, vanilla extract and almond extract. And it's going to go into the meringue. Oh, and here are my six egg yolks that um, I beat within an inch, inch of their lives. Now, the thing with meringue is that is you know it's kind of delicate. You can't come in here with a jackhammer and just start flailing away. So I'm gonna just try and get some of those flavorings distributed, and then we start adding the flour and sugar. This is uh, flour and sugar that I've whisked together. And I'm really just going to sprinkle a little bit over the top at a time. And, um, you know, gently kind of fold that in. I don't want my meringue to deflate. So this is going to take a, a while to get all of this in here. So hopefully this time I can actually stop the thing for recording. And I'll be back when I get all the flour and sugar incorporated into the uh, meringue. Hey, I'm back and I am just finishing up folding in the very last of the uh, flour sugar into the meringue. Now, you want, you have to be careful because some of the flour and sugar can like kind of hide out in the folds as you're folding it. So, uh, you want to get this just until it's mixed, and I think I'm there. Now, my egg yolks 
This is where the daffodil part comes in. So I'm going to take half of this batter approximately and plop it in here. This requires another spatula, I think. Hang on a sec. Woo. Okay. We need a super spatula for all this stuff. This is a foamy bit of stuff. So I'm going to just, uh, again, gently, hope you can see this, incorporate my egg yolks into my meringue. Doesn't that look just yummy? Mm -mm -mm. And it's just eggs, basically, eggs and sugar, a little flour. So when I was growing up, when I was very little, um, my parents farmed and we had um, chickens. We sold eggs. My parents sold eggs. We had some cows that um, we milked and a beef calf, but a lot of chickens. So I don't know, you would think I would be sick of eggs and chickens and all that stuff by now, but oh no, not at all. All right. So here is my funnel pan and I'm going to kind of, do not grease it for God's sakes. You will have nothing if you do that. So what I'm gonna do is alternate layers, this is gonna be tricky, of this meringue. I'm gonna kind of spread that around in there. I hope neatness doesn't count too much because I don't know, they're terribly neat. And then I'm going to take some of the daffodilly part and spoon in here. Oy. I think I need a third hand. And kind of fit that, I hope, can you see it? Okay, good. Nobody answered, but I just assumed. All right, then another layer of the white meringue. Actually, we're going to put all of that in here, the remaining bit of it. I think I may need yet another spatula because, ooh, that's a mess. Okay. So my oven has uh, is set at... 375 degrees and we're going to put this when I get through getting it all assembled here because we're not done yet um, all right have it your way and now the rest of the yolk and meringue is going on top Oh boy, this is almost worth uh, uh, using up a whole dozen eggs. You know, I, it's not like I thought, did I say this? You know, my memory's shot, so bear with me. But I only had, I had just gone grocery shopping, bought a dozen eggs because I was all out. And then my, um, I work at a school part-time, it's my retirement job because I can't afford to retire. Uh, that's why it's important for you people to like and follow my YouTube channel here. Um, so anyway, it was like administrative assistance appreciation day one day this week. And my lovely principals, they gave us all, one of them has a farm. And he gave us eggs and hamburger and bacon and oh my gosh, and gift cards. And it was just lovely. So I had two dozen eggs. So hence... So what I'm going to do is, and you need to do this if you're making an angel food cake anyway, is kind of cut a knife through here and make sure you don't have any bubbles. But my deal here is I'm just trying to swirl the two colors around a bit and get them to form a swirl pattern, if we can do that. 
but I'm not going to worry a lot about it because whatever it is, it's going to be lovely. All right. All right. Get that all prettied up. Oh, uh, there you have it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pop this into my oven. Uh, oh, for how long? can't remember. I think it goes in there for 40 minutes. 40. And I uh, will be back when this comes out and we'll see what we got. Woof. See you in a bit. I remember to turn this off. Okay. Hey everyone, I'm back and the um, daffodil cake is out of the oven. It is cooling upside down on a wire rack. It's got the little feet, so no, none of the none of the um, cake is touching the rack. And in the, while it's cooling, I can't take it out of the pan until it's <clears throat> totally cooled. So in the meantime, I'm making a raspberry sauce for it. Um, you can make whatever there's, uh, you can make any kind of glaze or sauce. I'm just making this raspberry sauce because I had some <clears throat> frozen raspberries I needed to use up and I had a few fresh ones actually. I love raspberries. Um, nothing tastes like summer as much as um, raspberries. That's in my opinion anyway. So what I've got in my saucepan here are um, it's probably over three cups. I had, a, like I said, I had a frozen <clears throat> contain, uh, you know, a package of um, frozen raspberries, and then I had a half a pint of fresh ones that all needed to get used up. So anyway, there's a little over three cups of raspberries in here, and um, some lemon juice, and um, there's a slurry of, um, cornstarch and a uh, tablespoon of water. And I think that's pretty much it. Is I mean, there's just nothing in here. Oh, sugar, sugar for the raspberries. So <clears throat> this is going to cook for a while till it comes to a boil. And um, I'm kind of mashing the fresh ones as, I, as this heats up. So <clears throat> this is gonna sit here and cook away for a while. And when it is done, uh, we'll, I'll strain it because, I mean, you don't have to. You can just leave it once it's thickened. <clears throat> you can leave the, the seeds in, but I love raspberries, hate the seeds. So I'm going to be straining this. And then um, by then, I'm hoping maybe our daffodil cake will be cooled enough and we can cut into it and see what it looks like and maybe try a little piece with some raspberry sauce. Mwah. So hang on, I will be back. All right, the um, raspberry sauce has, uh, I've just taken it off the heat, still in its pan. And um, I'm going to just put in just a splash, a little capful, not even, of um, some vanilla. And uh, stir that in, and then we're gonna strain this stuff. Ouch, and it's extremely hot. So in it goes into a fine mesh strainer. Boy, it is um, like lava. <clears throat> and then I'm going to help it along a little bit by stirring and pressing. And getting this stuff to um, go down through. So I'll be back when um, everything is all ready to show. See ya. Hi friends, I'm back. The um, daffodil cake is all cooled. Our raspberry sauce has been made and that's been um, in the fridge as well. So let's have a look, <clears throat> cut into this stuff. You wanna use a serrated knife and have a go at it. Oh boy. Looks good. Ooh. Now, can you see the um, yellow and the white kind of swirls that we made using the yolks <clears throat> with part of the um, meringue? Oh, God, that looks really good. 
So let's have a little try with our raspberry sauce. Yum o. -oh. Gee, I hope you give this a try because this looks really good, actually. <laughs> if I do say so myself. And you know, and it's low fat, except for the egg yolks. Oh my god. Mm-mm. -mm. It's really good. It's really good. Mm. <clears throat> it's really light. And as I say, nothing tastes like summer as much as raspberries do. So please give this a try. Your own daffodil cake with raspberry sauce. I still have um, <clears throat> the six other egg yolks, which are not going to go to waste. So I'm going to be making some lemon curd with those guys. But that's going to be on another video. So you'll have to tune in and be sure to watch that. Please like and follow my channel. It means a lot to me. Um, I'll be leaving some affiliate links in the description along with the recipe. And I hope you'll join me next time on Cooking Homemade with Jill. Take good care.